and we're back this time i'm going to show you how to create a pattern in adobe illustrator let us start with a white fill and a black stroke color and i'll activate the polygon tool i'll hold shift to make it snap to zero degrees and i align it properly let me increase the stroke weight Four points should be fine. Then I press Ctrl C and Ctrl F to copy and paste in front. I hold Shift and Alt when I resize it. And I repeat the process. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, holding Shift and Alt. I select them all, hold Shift and I rotate it. That looks fine. Make sure it's selected. Go to Object, Pattern and Make. This warning message might appear. Just click on OK. And we can work with the pattern. We already have a new swatch created over here, which is new pattern 2. Let me give that a new name over there. We'll call it test pattern. Something like that. You can change the tile type over here from grid to brick by row, brick by column, and other options. Let me use by row, we can work with that. We can change the offset below that. We want to have it set to half. And now we we'll click on this little icon, pattern tile tool. And now we'll resize this one down to the center position. And now all of these patterns overlap at the center and we can change what's overlapping. Is it the front or the bottom? Let me increase the copy size. And if we now click on OK, we've got this pattern over here as a switch. If you select now what we've created, you can change the color here, but it's not the pattern anymore. So if we select it and we click on our pattern swatch, we create weird results. Let us create a rectangle on top of our artboard and then we'll apply our pattern. And this is what we want to have. This is the test pattern. And we can still adjust it. All we have to do is to make sure it's selected, go to object, pattern, and then edit pattern. And now we'll change the color. With the swatches, make sure you've got your selection to activate it. Let me select the center one first, then the second one. And the final one this is just an example pick colors that you may like i think that's fine just click on done and here's our pattern applied to our rectangle on top of the artboard and that test pattern has now changed its colors in the swatches and this is how you can create these patterns in adobe illustrator thank you for watching and i'll see you next time